World Tank Blitzer Zets Little Finger. Wanted to give a quick review here on the AMXmas. This is the December 2021 Battle Pass tank, and this thing is tiny. Take a look at it compared to the Magnus. Yes. What makes this tank fun is that it's got 65 kilometers per hour, and being so small, it makes for a very difficult target as we zoom on in we've got some boots and some packages a sleigh some sort of wand on here but what i wanted to point out is if you get to level 70 and let's just forward right on past that um we'll take a look at it you've got this really cool little hologram of a reindeer come in which i assume i'm not 100 percent positive you'll see at the beginning of every battle and now we've got some swirls and some snow and a Christmas tree on this side. So really neat little camouflage to go on this tank as well. So this again is part of the Battle Pass $5. If you complete everything, you're getting over $600, uh, 600 gold per dollar. So it works out to be a really great deal. And I'm telling you what guys, the few t games I have played in this tank, uh, seven of them so far, 86% win rate, 1500 average damage, have been a lot of fun. Um, so let's go through the setup and then we'll do some comparisons and get into that gameplay. And remember guys, if you like my content, please hit that subscribe button. All right, so repair kit, multi-purpose, and uh, we've got engine power boost because we've got a auto loader on this tank, three shells, two seconds between each shot. We'll get a little bit more into that later. Coffee and croissant, improve fuel, and canned pate. We've got 25, 14, and nine. We're making sure we are buying our premium rounds with credits and not gold. Now into the all important equipment section, consumable uh, calibrated shells, improved modules, improved optics, enhanced gun lane drive, improved assembly, engine accelerator, vertical stabilizer, because we are shooting on the move all the time in this tank, toolbox and consumable delivery system all right guys blitzstars.com pulled up here and we're going to compare this tank most closely to the amx 12t because we know that battle pass tanks are copy and paste of regular tier 6 tech tree tanks so let's see what got changed as we go through this comparison dpm pen alpha of 160 all very very much the same three shots two seconds between each shot so there's a little bit of a difference 2.5 seconds versus two seconds on the xmas um and then the big difference here look at this seven degrees of gun depression 1.72 0.344 very accurate gun um and that really helps out when you're on the move but I think the reason I love this tank is because of this gun depression. Seven degrees makes so much difference over four degrees. You can actually get on a hill and you can get some degree of gun depression onto that tank. So 65 kilometers per hour, um, very much in line here with your horsepower and what's going to lead to your acceleration and getting to that 65 kilometer per hour top speed. You know, the... The, the Battle Pass tanks do come with a higher credit coefficient, so we can expect that to be about, you know, the 145, so you're going to make money in the tank, which is also something that's very nice. Um, armor, not much to be talked about, but let's just jump over to Armor Inspector and show that the fact that we do have a little bit of spaced armor. Um, this may come in handy here and there against some HE shots sent your way. Um, but with 40, 50 millimeters of armor, you're going to see a lot of HE. So let's take a look at the pen and what that looks like. So with another AMX 12T shooting at you, um, you know, there's some potential to get a few bounce shots here if you're angled and backing away, hiding this part of your tank and only showing, you know, kind of like this area here, you could potentially might get a bounce or two. So what i think makes this tank so much fun is just the sheer size of it it's so small it's so fast it's hard to hit on the move and let's see how that plays out in the games all right guys here we are first battle ever in this tank here on copper field 
so I wasn't too sure, you know, just exactly how to play this game, but uh, it has a pretty funny ending, so I decided I would keep it in here. And uh, quite honestly, at the beginning, I'm trying to make a decision, hey, do I want to go with the heavies up top, or do I want to sneak around? You know, if you get stalled out up top, you start getting sniped from the guys across the map. So I've got the Shinobi with me, so let's run on up here. See how fast this tank gets to that 65 kilometers per hour. We are reloaded. We've got three shots ready to go. Four seconds to get those three shots off. As soon as I spot somebody, there's the Chaffee not looking at me. So we're able to get the first shot. But because the MT-25 was over there, I decided, you know what? We're going to make a run for it and get down this hill. Uh, yeah, we didn't quite get the second shot off as we, um, you know, went over that hill and, and lost that gun depression. But uh, we'll make a run back here. You can see them still shooting at me. And by the way, guys, if you missed my store review from the 10th of December, I am giving away a fury if that video gets 35 subscribers to my channel. So... Hey guys, uh, make sure you do check that out right here. So we've unloaded another clip. Chaffee goes down. Means we can push on this MT-25. Let's see how we do about this tank's armor. There's one in. There's two in. It tracks him and uh, definitely get that third one. Shinobi should be able to finish him off as he sprays some shots at us but misses. So we've got two tanks down. Now we can snipe from across the map and support our heavies. Reloaded once again. Do we have time to get more than one shot into this Matilda before he realizes what's going on? Yes. Finishing him off, we're going to force a reload drop down the hill. There's only three tanks left. This is a lopsided battle. So we want to get in here and get more shots in. So we'll hit that engine accelerator, climb up the hill here. Uh, keeping good top speed shooting on the move there's one there's two we've got one more who's over the corner here we got 625 health left bingo uh, ammo racked by the eraser yeah so that's how that game ended um, 625 damage a bit reckless on the driving I must say but uh, you know we're going to win this game regardless. Shinobi and I took care of the other mediums on the other side. Lights on the other side, I should say. 1,500 damage. 686. We were top damage there. 30,000 credits there on that effort. All right, guys. Second battle here on Yukon. And I got to tell you what. Pulling big maps like Yukon, um, like Normandy, things like that is going to be the best for this tank because... You can stay at max speed and just be chaos out there. Uh, and that's why I really enjoy this tank. I don't think it should take me too long until I find that ace mastery in this tank. Because that's what I enjoy. Alright, VK, don't back up on me. I'm going to spot C. Let me get to C so I can spot C. Um, and here's a downside to this tank. Look, we're too short to see over. Oh no, we can't see. Someone's in C, but we can't see them. Uh, let's be a little bit overly aggressive here and uh, pull on forward. See if we can't. It's a T-150. Nope, not going to pen that. My team is pulling around. T-150 is getting shot from behind, but I've got a few tanks to the left of me. Um, so, yeah, let's get on out of here. Uh, no one's paying attention to those tanks on my left. Um, so, yeah, let's engine boost, accelerate, and uh, avoid the building, and get on out of here. Get that reload done. We only managed to get one shot of those three to go in. But, hey, Type 64, nice, soft, juicy target. There's one. There's two. Don't even slow down. You can see those shots getting shot at us. Just completely missing. And we're going to drop on down, stay out of the way, use this time to reload, and uh, let's come on back and not even slow down, shall we? So, so yes, yeah, 65 kilometers per hour, top speed. Um, shooting on the move, yeah, it's a little bit treacherous. Maybe not the most accurate as we miss one, pen one, bounce one. Um, and, yeah, we got to get out of here. So let's just keep on moving. That guy was still turning around. We do can take a few from that leopard there. That's okay. We still got 755 
hit points left. I'm watching out for that U Panzer, but trying to focus on the STRV now that he is a one shot. He's taken out. Leopard's on the run, so it's U Panzer. Here we go. And he's watching me. That's fine. He misses the first one. We get two, we get three, and then we engine boost past him. He's only going to get one shot to our three shots. Uh, that's a trade I'll take every day. And you know what? We're going to be down at the bottom of the hill before he catches us. And this is driving the Xmas. I mean, it's just chaos. It's fun. It's all over the map. He shoots. He misses. Um, yeah. And, and we finish him off just like that. 1600 damage done already. Can we find anyone else to shoot? That leopard's got to be close because someone's ca capping C. But uh, with only 395 hit points left, we'll play this a little bit more cautiously. I uh, want to make sure that we ed do end up winning the game. All right, Dicker Max, you've just shown yourself. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Poodle goes down, two on one. It's just the leopard left. We just need to make sure that we are reloaded. We can finish him off with three shots. So in we come. And this is just the fun of it. I mean, just driving and shooting and shooting and running away and reloading. And that is the AMXmas. 2,500 damage, 59,000 credits. Not quite the ace I was hoping, but that was only 945. Perhaps if we'd have capped one of those bases early, that might have put us over the top. All right, so let's take a look at one more where we are bottom tier. And uh, obviously that brings in a whole new set of problems. Smashers, annihilators, big derp guns. Um, but you know what? I was feeling lucky. Um, still wanted to be aggressive in this tank and a little bit disappointed to see the Annihilator and the Smasher pull off and head to the left. But we're committed. There's no such thing actually. Yeah, I really could have just pulled back and relocated. You can see no one's going to the middle just yet. Um, and so I'm going to drop in to cap really early and oh god, there's a Panther over here. Um, yeah, looks like more than one. We've got the Cromwell here. Let's drop three shots on him real quick if we can. We get all three of those to go. And let's hide behind this building and turn around. And you can see there's our small size with the Panther missing us. Hit that engine accelerator and just wiggle and jiggle and get on out of here. Um, so yeah, we were unsuccessful at capping A but we spotted the majority of their team, and I kind of feel bad for that guy I left behind over there, but hey, um, I'd rather be over here with the Annihilator and the Smasher, um, just because, hey, they're better tanks, right? And let's support the better tanks. So, uh, not a great feeling about the way that this battle has started here. We've got the Annihilator coming at us. We really should have just stopped and taken a shot. As we take two from the big old annihilator there, but uh, we've given him two back. Fair exchange, leaving us only with 393 hit points. So we do have to be careful. So I'm gonna move more to the back of the map and try to figure out, you know, where the weak spots are in this battle. I've got a Nashhorn in the middle there. The KV2's just been taken out. He camped there the whole game. Uh, TH, the T28 HTC's in the river down here, and the Chaffee and the Panther are pushing on the Nashhorn. So I'm hoping here the Nashhorn keeps them spotted up, and I can get some shots in. But you look at this. From a distance, the Panther is pretty red. Uh, so I'm shooting APCR until he gives me his side, at which time I'll switch back to AP. If we can get one more reload in here. Um, Nashorn, if you can take out the Panther, that would be wonderful. Hoping the Chaffee comes around. There's one. We need one more to go in the Chaffee. That one misses. 
the next one misses and we take a shot. So, um, yeah, three on three. Those guys are a little bit maybe gun shy at the moment. On the T28 is pushing on to the Smasher and we're down a tank now. So, right or wrong here, the move I decided to make is to push onto the T28. If I can clip him out, that should leave the Smasher. Um, with just two shots on the other one-shot tanks each. So there's one in, there's two in, and uh, let's, we should have switched over to APCR to make sure that that third shot went in, and the Chaffee's now, but it's down to 51 hit points. So um, even in reverse, the tank has some decent mobility. We're going to get on down the hill here, and we are reloaded. Two on two at the moment, and we've missed our first shot. That's okay. We've got two more to go. There's one there. There's the Panther. For some reason, he stops and shoots and misses. And Smasher is down there to clean up. So, there is, in a nutshell, three interesting games in this tank where you saw getting all over the map, both sides, heavy side, light side, um, doing the damage while being able to move fairly well. For the most part, you're probably going to be really close to your opponent or stopped to get some distant shots in there. Um, but hey, the tank makes some money, makes some good damage, and it's all for five bucks, guys. So with that, hope I earned your subscription. Remember, we've got that event going on right now for the Fury, so go watch that. Leave your region and your in-game name we'll do a drawing as soon as i get 35 subscribers off of that video and remember to get educated not fingered little finger out